6th grade, Module 2, Lesson 17, Problem Set. Is 32,643 divisible by both 3 and 9? Why or why not? So remember, the divisibility test for 3 is that we find the sum of the digits, and if the sum of the digits is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. And same for 9. If the sum of the digits is divisible by 9, then the number is divisible by 9. So let's find the sum of the digits. So 3 plus 2 plus 6 plus 4 plus 3. So that's 5. 6 plus 4 is 10 plus 3 is 13. So we have 5 plus 13 is 18. So let's do the divisibility test for 3. So we 18 divided by 3 is 6. So it is divisible by 3 because we get a whole number when we divide. 18 divided by 9, so the divisibility test for 9 is 2. So it's also divisible by 9 because we get a whole number when we divide by 9. So why or why not? So divisible by... 3 and 9 because the sum of the digits, which was 18, is divisible by 3 and 9. Number 2, circle all the factors of 424,380 from the list below. So the visibility test for 2 is just if it ends in an even number. The unit digit is 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. So the, it is 0, which is means that it is divisible by 2. So let's do 3, and while we're at doing 3, we can also check for 9. So the divisibility test there is we add up all the digits. plus 3, plus 8. We could add 0, but it's just 0. So 4 plus 2 is 6, plus 4, so this is 10, plus 3 plus 8, that's 11. So we get 21. So let's do 21 divided by 3 is 7. So that's a whole number, so it is divisible by 3. And let's do 21 divided by 9. Uh, 9 is not a factor of 21, so we this one does not work. So 9 doesn't work. Let's try 4. So the divi divisibility test for 4 is if the last two digits are divisible by 4. So 80 divided by 4 is equal to 20. So 80 is divisible by 4, so 4 works. Divisibility test for 5 is just if it ends in a 5 or a 0, which it does. So it's divisible by 5. 8 is if the last three digits are divisible by 8. So 380 divided by 8. So 8 can't go into 3, but it can go into 38. Let's see, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40. So it can go in 4 times. We get 68 goes into 60 7 times. So we do have a remainder, and we'd have to continue going, which means that we're going to have something after the decimal point. So it is not divisible by 8. It doesn't go in evenly. And 10, it just needs divisibility test for 10. It just needs to end in a 0, which it does, so it's divisible by 10. Okay, we're going to do the same thing now for... 322,875. So if it's divisible by 2, it needs to end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8. It ends in a 5, so it's not divisible by 2. Let's try 3 and 9. So let's add up 3 plus 2 plus 2 plus 8 plus 7 plus 5. So 3 plus 2 is 5, plus 2 would be 7. So those all add up to 7. 8 plus 7 is 15 plus 5, so that would be 20. So 7 plus 20 is equal to 27. So now let's see, 27 divided by 3 is equal to 9, so it is divisible by 3. Let's check for 9. 27 divided by 9 
is equal to 3. So it's also divisible by 9. Okay, 4. We need to find the last two digits. 75 divided by 4. So 75, if you're not sure, you can actually do the problem. So we get 35. 4 goes into 35 8 times. And we're going to end up having a remainder, and we're going to have to keep it going and bring down a zero, which means that there's going to be something after the decimal point, and therefore it doesn't go in an even number of times. So not 4. In order for it to be divisible by 5, it needs to end in 0 or 5, and it ends in 5, so it's divisible by 5. 8, we need to look at the last three digits and see if those are divisible by 8. So 875 divided by 8. Bring down the 7. 8 goes into 7 zero times. So bring down the 5. 8 goes into 75. See, 8 times 10 would be 80. So it could go in 9 times. That's 72. And again, we're going to have a remainder. So I don't even need to keep going. I just know that it doesn't go in evenly. So it's not divisible by 8. And in order to be divisible by 10, the unit digit needs to be 0. Or it needs to end in 0. And it ends in 5, so it's not divisible by 10. Number 4. Write a 3-digit number that's divisible by both 3 and 4. Explain how you know this number is divisible by 3 and 4. Okay, so to be divisible by 3, when we add up the digits, we need to be able to divide it by 3. It needs to be divisible by 3. And by 4, the last two digits need to be divisible by 4. So we're writing a three-digit number. So first I'm going to pick a two-digit number that I know is divisible by 4. So maybe like 24. So I'm going to make the last two digits of my number 24. Now I need to just pick something to be in the hundreds place that is going to make this add up to something that's divisible by 3. So right now we have 6. So I can add anything here that would make this to be divisible by 3. So for example, if I made it 124, this would add up to 7, and 7 is not divisible by 3. So I can't use 1. What I could use is 3. I could use 324 because that would be 9. 3 plus 2 plus 4 is equal to 9. And 9 is divisible by 3. So we can use 324. There are tons of different answers for this. You can use something completely different than I've chosen. But 324 works. We could also have used, let's see, if we made it 624, that would be 8 plus 4 is 12. So 12 is divisible by 3. And 24 is divisible by, by 4 because 24 divided by 4 is 6. So either one of those would work, or you can think of something different. Number five, write a four-digit number that is divisible by both five and nine. Explain how you know this divisible is divisible by five and nine. So in order for it to be divisible by five, the unit digit must be 0 or 5, so it needs to end in 0 or 5, and for it to be divisible by 9, the numbers need to add up and be the sum of the digits must be divisible by 9. Okay, so we can just decide right now if we want the unit digit to be 0 or 5. I think I have, well, first we have four spaces. I'm just going to go ahead and make it 0. You can make it 5 if you want. Now, these three numbers need to add up to something that's divisible by 9. Or So in other words, they need to add up to something that's a multiple of 9. So they need to add up to 9, 18, 27, 36, so on and so forth. So let's make them add up to 18. So I'll start with just any three digits that could add up to 18. So let's do 9 plus 
2, so that's 11. I would need 7 more. So we could just make it 927, which would be 9,270. You could, let's say if we wanted it to end in a 5, and maybe the digits add up to 27. So we already have 5, so we're left with 22. And then maybe I used 8. So 22 minus 8 gives me, I have 14 left over. And I could just use 7 and 7. So we could use 877 or 8,775. So you can make up your own number. Just it needs to end in 0 or 5. And then the digits need to all add up to something that's divisible by 9.